everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to one of the most exciting days. I love the annual catalog the most. I love the holiday catalog second. And um, I love the January mini catalog, but I always feel like it comes rushing at holiday time. Um, but the annual catalog is always my favorite because there's always so many new things when the annual catalog comes out. So I have my stuff. I'm going to show you. But before I move it up to the table, let's um, discuss a couple of other things. There is lots of new product up on the website right now under our online exclusives. So I'm just going to fly quickly through these cards. They all have a tutorial. So this is the Magnolia. This one is uh, something... Um, encircled in, encircled by nature. I've been out of um, my office for a few days and now I forget everything. This is the Simply Xenia. This one is Pets and More. And then this one is Latte Love. So you can go find all of these and if you um, are looking for some new and exciting stuff right now, you can go get those before this catalog goes live. Because even dem demonstrators, um, if they went to on stage can order just like I did. Demonstrators who did not go to on stage because you're all asking me. I'm not sure of the date because I didn't look it up because I was able to order from this. It's maybe in early April. You'll be able to see the catalog probably by the time I post this. The catalog will be up if you're a demonstrator. So we can't show you the inside. So don't ask about that and we'll come back to that in a second. Then I do offer free gifts with purchase. Um, and this month because I hadn't shown it yet because I didn't have it. I thought I'd ordered it and I hadn't. So this is the very burst old olive and white glimmer paper. It's a very, um, this is what it is kind of name, isn't it? So you'll get a packet of this or, and or, I think this is the 50 and I'm going to cut it six by six or four by six for shipping. Um, and then you can also earn the fun patterns embossing folders, which I haven't used because again, I hadn't ordered them. Both of these are also online exclusives, so you can order them if you love them. So be watching for some um, projects coming up with these, but those are my free gifts with purchase, so you can go check out my website for that. Now let's just talk one second about this catalog before we look at the box. So as you can see, it's a very, very different color cover. Um, in fact, when we all saw it, you know, change is hard, change is different. There were a spate of years where I would have catalogs laying on my desk and I didn't know which one was the new one from looking at the cover because they all, there was the yellow years, like the barely banana years. They all looked so incredibly similar. And then we did kind of the Calypso Coral years where they were all similar. What I love about this one is the feel. You can see that it, it has a, um, like a high end catalog feel to it. You can see that it's got some embossing. I love that it has people. There is stuff on the table. And I, I've heard people say, well, I don't stamp outdoors. If you follow me, you know the highlight of my year is when summer comes and I can work outside. So while I have to pick days where it's not windy, I love to work outside. I love being outside. I love being in my backyard like this. It doesn't look exactly like this, but with the flowers and the nature, and the sounds, um, I always have my windows open so you guys hear the birds singing as I film. So it's very different. This one will lay here and when I pull out other catalogs, past catalogs for ideas or because I'm cleaning and they're getting moved around, I will know that this is this year's. So it's a really fun cover. Um, if you don't like it, that's okay because all you have to do is like it, what's inside, right? I, I would venture a guess. Like I said, if I laid five catalogs here, you would know maybe this year's, but then you couldn't tell me what last year's was. Um, this one will make an impression. It's super fun. But not only is the cover different, the inside is incredible, incredibly different. So some of you may be like, oh, what am I looking at? Because it is different. Um, but it has a color wheel with how to use color. It has tons of templates. It's For those who have been with me for a long time, it harkens back to the... Um, when we called it a catalog and idea book. Um, so there's lots of ideas. It's just arranged, the whole arrangement of it all, very, very different. So I think you're going to like it. If you don't have a demonstrator sending you a copy, I send a first copy to anyone free. And then if you've purchased from me since January, a $50 order, you get one free. Um, otherwise, you can buy one because we do have to pay for them. And then I also have to pay to ship them to you. So I ask uh, that you cover that $8. And then if you... Um, have a $50 or greater order in May, um, I will refund that $8 to you. And if you just want to keep the catalog to look at, 
then it's just $8 and that does include your shipping because it's postage is not cheap these days. So that's the actual catalog. Now let's see the product that I got. Okay, there's not a great way to do this because when I don't have a catalog and when I'm not 100% sure what I got, um, I'm just going to show you in in um, sets of what things are not that go together because I'm not sure what goes together. But two things I want to show you. This, you may have seen floating around on the internet. I haven't put mine together yet. This is a color wheel from Stampin' Up! And this is going to go on here and it will show you ways, four different ways to organize your color. So if you all wish that you had one, um, the good news is, is there's a whole page in the catalog that's just this. And then the side next to it describes the four different ways to group colors together. So while you might not have the actual wheel to hold, the wheel is in the catalog and then they, they tell you how to use it. So that's super fun. So here are our new in colors. Um, I will do a comparison video in a couple of days. I'd rather play with my stamps first. We have Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, which is a returning color. We had Pretty in Pink several years ago. Shy Shamrock and Summer Splash. The only one that I felt like might be a shade close to what we already have was Coastal Cabana. So here is the Shy Shamrock, oh no, Summer Splash, I mean, um, cardstock next to the Coastal Cabana. So it is a brighter color and this is lighter. They'd be really fun to use together. So let's just take a look real quick at some of the things that I have in the end colors. I have, of course, the inks, then I have the markers. All of them have a blend combo because you know sometimes we don't get all of those, um, but this they all do. And then there's some really fun ribbon. And I think I got all the colors. Um, I ordered very early in the morning. Let's see, there's two. I have a lot of these because it's almost time for you to sign up for my um, annual catalog try it class. I do one with every new catalog, so be watching because pretty soon I will put the registration up and I'll fully explain what it is. But here are the ribbons, they are um, bordered ribbon and then in each of the colors. So when we do the class, you get some of everything. We make 10 projects and then I give you all the new stuff. And then these I can tell, I don't know what they go with. These are the resin dots. They're probably part of a suite, but without knowing for sure, I'm not going to commit to that. Here is um, Summer Splash. I don't have all the stuff out of my box yet because I don't have enough room for it. Peach Pie and Petunia Pop because they order as much as I can. So let's see, we are missing Pretty in Pink. Some of you may still have that. Um, and then here's the, which one's missing? One of the greens. Or maybe I just didn't order it because this is Summer Splash. It looks like perhaps I forgot to order the um, Shy Shamrock. I'm gonna, I have another order going for stuff that I didn't get, which I didn't get not very much of it, but then it, they would show us ways to use it. And you know, demonstrators have beautiful ideas. And once they showed me, then I was like, oh, I have to have it. Then there is a new ink and then neutrals, or in the basics, I guess, um, that I'm going to love. It's basic beige. So this comes in both um, cardstock and an ink pad. I don't think that there was a blend for it. If there was, I didn't order it, um, but it, or it might not have been available to us. But basic beige is added to the basic black, basic white, basic gray. Um, so it's a it's a fun color. But there is an ink in that as well, which will be fun anytime you don't want your ink to be, um, like anytime you want a more subtle ink. So that is the new ink colors. Then I do have a special. For my customers, if you got the email, or if you if you didn't get the email and you want to know the um, special, then you can message me. It's good only today, and today is the 18th. Here is basic beige um, ribbon. So I love to have neutrals. I love neutrals. But if if you order some certain things today, then you can get a sample of all the new colors. Now let's do, let's just finish off these embellishments. Again, I don't know what they go with. So these are the adhesive backed trio pearls. Super pretty. Then these are, I love, I love neutrals. And this is the basic gray and smoky slate pearls. 
these look like they might be kind of in colors. Yeah, in color shimmer dots. I should have showed you these before I showed you the others. There's a probably, yeah, petunias underneath there. Sometimes when you don't open them, it's hard to tell that exactly what is in there. Now, should we do paper or stamps? Remember, oh, well, here's a, I guess there's a couple more of this. Oh, this is pretty. This is petal pink and white diagonal trim combo. Look at that's pretty. So petal pink is kind of my nail color, I guess. So there's that. And then there's these go with the new airplane set. Sweet. They are going to be so much fun. Industrial trinkets. Let's see if I can open them without spilling them. So this side kind of has a like a tool design, but I can see using them upside down as well because both directions are kind of fun. So there's those. Then let's do, let's do the paper. And then I will do, I haven't opened any of it. Um, I'll do the stamps. And if you see something that you want me to play with first or second, let me know. I think this is the country woods. Yep. So this is a more neutral one. It, I, it does come with two stamp sets. And probably I would say maybe those pearls went with it. Again, it's a nice background design. It looks like the Home Depot pack we had years ago just updated. So that's Country Woods. And this one I actually have another packet up because this is what I won for a door prize. This is uh, maybe Unbounded Beauty. Yep, Unbounded Beauty. It is part of a suite. I can't tell you if there's one or two stamp sets up with it though, but it's very pretty paper. So see it's got flowers on one side and then just um, neutral kind of patterns on the back. It's a fresh fun color palette. Then let's see, I have a lot of that paper because I won one. You know if you follow me when I actually make cards, the luster papers, the glimmer papers, those are always my favorite. So I know I'm going to like this one. This is um, in colors again, and it's glimmer paper. So if you're in card club, I just finished your card club um, projects for this month, and you're getting the online exclusive glimmer paper that has the olive and the white. Those are the two colors that are in, on our projects this month. And there's also olive. So here, this is, would be peach. This looks like it's the petunia pop. It could be the petal pink. Nope, that's the petal pink. Then one of the greens and the other green. This would be summer splash and this would be shy shamrock. I have to check my order thing and see if I just didn't get that paper. Because I thought that I got two of all the papers. We have a little bit more time that we can order if you're a demonstrator before they turn it off and then you have to wait. So here we have, this is textured metallic paper. Again, love love the metals. I love to emboss. I love to cut the, when we have the words, cut these out of this. I love to emboss it. So it comes in all three colors, gold, um, silver. It's kind of more of a platinum silver and then copper. Then we have the airplane. This one is called Take to the Skies. And I love these patterns here where you get all these different, on this one it's designed, you can see as tags. The whole packet's not like this, just this top design. Sometimes I open all these beforehand, but because my UPS man came very late today, although earlier than it said, I looked at the tracking and it said we'll arrive by 7 p.m. So no, 7 p.m. is very late, right? Um, but my husband's going to be home soon. And even if I ask him to be quiet, he makes all kinds of noise while I'm trying to do this. And you can hear noise further away in the house more than you can me talking close to the camera. So you can tell this is a great masculine um, pack any or girls fly too. I mean, I love to fly. I wish I could fl be the driver, <laughs> but I'm not. But this is a, a, a nice um, 
neutral color palette as well. So that is the airplane one. Some of these are mixed together. This one is country lace. Are these all country lace, yeah. This one goes, I think, with maybe with the wood one, because I think there's two papers and two stamp sets in that sweet. So when we do my um, try it class, the cards will be template or fun folds, and then they're all designed around the paper. There's no stamping in it, but you get you'll get to see some of all of the papers. I try to get as many papers on each card as I can, so you can see as many. And then we use all the new ribbons and all the new embellishments and some of, there's not a whole lot of new punches in this catalog, um, but we will use some and then embossing folders and dies. Wait till you see the embossing folders. So that's that one. I've already done that one. Here's the last color. It was not in the box with the other. That's the Shy Shamrock. Okay, this is another favorite. This is beautiful. It's so pretty. And there's, I think I counted maybe 10 or 11 new papers. Then the countryside, the blue and white one from the current annual catalog is in there. The winter meadow from the holiday catalog is still in there, as is the perennial lavender and the notes of nature. I'm going to take these all the way out because you need to see the whole entire thing. How pretty are these? So you can see they um, graduate in color. This would be my favorite one because these are my colors. I love that. And then there's this blue one. I didn't tell you what it was called, so I'm going to have to look on here. But just take a second to absorb how beautiful these are. They are so pretty. I have my favorite one on top. This one must be purple. Did I show you purple? Oh, yeah, that one's pretty, too. And they are called Thoughtful Designs um, Specialty Paper. So it goes with Thoughtful Design Suites. I like when they don't um, make it a mystery what goes with what. Looks like that's about all the paper except for this one. This one you all are going to love because every time we have these kind of papers, they people just go crazy over them. The Thoughtful Journey. And it, you can see it's six by six. One side is all nature and the other side is a more neutral. Let's look at the other side first. Because they're pretty. Oh, well, I guess I can't do it without showing you. So we'll do it this way. Um, so uh, just fabulously beautiful. These are uh, really in my color schemes more than some of the others have been. And they're kind of, you can see, all season. So I cannot wait to play with these. That just makes me want to go to Scotland. It makes me want to stamp a card with watercolor and spritz it and make it look just like that because it's so pretty. Can't wait, can't wait to play with it. And I know those of you that are in card club are like, what are we going to use first? I have no idea. There's so many things to pick from. Here is, I have this, I have a few things coming in another order, like I said. This is um, some new cards and envelopes, and then you can get punch outs. I want to add a little bit more before I take a picture of it because I need ribbon and I need embellishments. And it's super cute, and you literally just punch it out. It's not, it's a create your own journey. It's not in a box. It's not a kit. So you um, kind of make it as you want. And I did get a kit, but... It's in my suitcase still. I haven't unpacked all the way. I unpacked one. I got halfway. So now let's look at the stamps and dies. This is an embossing folder. This is an embossing folder. So this is going to show you how big this one is. So big. I don't think that if anybody used it there, I didn't see them. So I wasn't paying attention if they did. But I feel like I would have noticed this. I feel like the, um, the sound in the room, like, you know, when they show thousands of stampers, something brand new that's impressive. We make a noise. There's that, um, my daughter calls it the fireworks noise. So here's the So Swirly embossing folder. Ginormous. I don't, I mean, you don't even make a card that big, so this will be fun to play with. It will be great for a card club because we can send it through, my husband and I, when we cut, and there, you'll get two on your one paper, and we won't have to do it twice as many times. This is the eyelet. It does go with a sweet, but I don't know which one. I'm not going to open it. It's, you can tell, eyelets. Then we have Flowers of Beauty. So here's the stamp set. I love this one. It looks a little bit like hand-penned. 
um, which was one of my favorites when we had that. So the retired list is probably going up while I'm filming this. There will be um, some specials, but I, those don't happen right away. But if there's something that you are like dying to get on the retiring list, I would get it and not wait to see. We may know if it's gonna be on sale. Um, sometimes they tell us ahead of time on the list. Look how pretty those are. Um, the girl who demoed this at Onstage made a really fun card with these two pieces. So that is Flowers of Beauty. And then this one is not part of a suite, it's Seaside Wishes, and it is a hybrid. So we have the folder, and just like, so we've had several of these recently, and then you can put them, um, the dies in the folder, so you can get, just every time I think that I cut these enough, and never do I. There we go. So here's the embossing folder. And here's the Seaside Wishes dies, so they will lay inside of those. Again, I'm not going to open it. I mean, you can tell how massively huge that embossing folder is compared to the regular one. So, I didn't know they sealed it both. It was sealed inside a seal. This doesn't have paper with it, but I'm looking at the little nature one I just showed you. It would be really pretty. And, of course, in the new beige. So you can see these will lay inside of that. Super fun. And then we have a Thoughtful Wishes. So there's the stamps. This is the one that I want to um, watercolor to make look just like that paper. And then use the paper as a background. It's funny because I look at these and I'm like, this will be the first one I stamp with. And I, uh, nope, this will be the first one. I usually make one card. That's, that I don't have to stress about. And then the second thing that I will make will probably be, or the timing for this one's a little bit early for me to open registration for my Try It class, but usually one of the first cards I make is the first project for Try It. Oh, they used this one um, at on stage. It's beautiful, it's nice and big. I love that one and it kind of goes this way, so your flowers I like that, beautiful. Then we have the airplane, Adventurous Skies. It's um, kind of a vintage airplane. And then guys, for it. I could have put my um, trash can at my feet so I could have thrown this stuff in there. And we'll be all done and I'm gonna wanna stamp and I won't be able to because I'm gonna have a mess. And um, I don't know how many of you have um, wonderful girls that come clean your house. I my girl comes tomorrow, but I always feel the need to kind of like straighten up before she comes. And my and I'm in the midst of, you know, when you come home from an event and you just are on vacation and stuff's everywhere. That's where I'm at now. So I also want to stamp, but the guilt will make me clean something. This is country flowers and it goes with those the country lace and then the country backgrounds. This one looks fun to um stamp with too. This is why I like to open them early because I am not good. I'm a good at stamping. I am bad at opening these. Partly because I'm always afraid I'm going to cut the thing. There we go. This one nobody used. So this is kind of a surprise to me too. How cute. So you can see it has a bunch of flowers to fill the kettle or the jug. And then you can set them on the little. So my very favorite set, which most of the girls I went with, the, their very favorite set too was not on the pre-order. It is peas. Like it's peas. <laughs> little peas in a pod. Cutest little faces. And one of them's like, I think it says, hey grumpy. Um, it's a super cute one. Then this is called Unbounded Love. So it has a happy birthday. It has hope is believing in a brighter tomorrow. Love never gives up. Faith is being sure of what we cannot see. Peace makes the world a better place. And remember, when you open them, they're always a little bit bigger than what they appear on the front. So this, if you don't have a die cut machine, would be fabulous because you can put it on punches. You can just trim them out. But it does have dies that are fabulous. This one, I may, when I just place my order, I may order two because I know these frames will end up being in the Try It class on more than one project. 
I think these are, it might not be them. I may be confused, but I think that these are frames. Yes. Aren't those fun? So you can see that they'll cut them all out and in really pretty designs and patterns. So you could get just the dies or you could get just the stamps, but why? Because you save 10% when you get both and you're gonna need both. So I'll probably order another one of this, both for Card Club and for um, the Try It class. And then I'm gonna do this one last. Oh no, the dies, oh, maybe they fell on the floor. I was like, they're not in here. Do this one last because it's one of my favorites. So here's the birdhouse. It goes, I can't wait to color this one, both with um, watercolor and with blends. The, the bird and that birdhouse are just perfect for it. If you are new to coloring with blends, the birdhouse would be perfect to practice on because you could make it all kinds of colors, but it's a nice large image that you can practice mixing your colors on. See, I can't open these. <laughs> Here's the dies for the birdhouse. So this is with the other country set with a little jug and then the two um, papers. I don't know which ribbon. I just remember there were two. And then this one is completely adorable. Attention shoppers. So, so cute. And the girl who demoed it did a fabulous job. She filled a whole cart up with wine. Um at the store and then she did another one where they, the bottles were all just tumped in and it was for recycling your wine bottles. The other thing with this set, it, and she did it, and I always tell you guys when there's a set like this to make sure that you look at the set without the focal one. So if you look without, at, without the um, shopping cart, you still have a shopping bag, you have flowers, you have a plant, you have wine, you have a birthday cake, and some really fun, um, shopping is always a good idea, but really fun sentiments, and you wouldn't even have to use the cart. And in several of her samples, she did not use her cart. Because just because it's the main part doesn't mean you have to use it on every one. So then the dies cut out the images, but you can also, as opposed to stamping the cart, you can do this. And remember, we have that metallic paper. So you can make a little cart, you can make a Target cart. We all know what color we would do a Target cart, right? So that is that. If you need a catalog and you don't have a demonstrator and you're in the US, then just message me. Um, your first copy is always free. I may have said this at the beginning of the um, video, I don't remember, um, but I'm happy to send you your first one. My customers, you'll be getting one if you've placed an order of $50 or more, or more since January. So that is the last time we had a new catalog. And then um, if you're in Card Club, it will come with your Card Club. If you order in March, which is this month, those of you that order this month will get your catalog first because I'm gonna do it with your thank you gifts. Just take another look at how incredibly beautiful this is. I could just wallpaper my walls. And I'll tell you this, of all of the things I just showed you, my very favorite papers, are still to come because we can't pre-order everything. So when you all start asking when your Try It class comes because you think I have everything, for one, I wouldn't have enough here to do the projects, but we cannot order the rest of the stuff until the catalog is live in May. And um, so on, I don't even know if it's the first, whatever day in May we can order, I will order then for Try It class. Um, but then I have to have time to get it all here and design the projects and cut the paper. So it, I'm hoping to have try a class out to you like the probably the third week. I'm going to aim for the second week of May. It may be the third though, just real, by the time you get it with postage and stuff. So, so excited for the new catalog. If you need one, let me know. And otherwise, I will catch you back here later. If there's something you want to see me play with first, comment below this video and let me know. Have a great one. Bye.